Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be filming a haul. Now I know my hair is up and it's never up but um, it just it's really hot in my room. Now most of you guys know I'm on a no poo method at the moment meaning I haven't used shampoo and I haven't used shampoo since January. My honey method, if you guys watched my recent update, it's, um, it's going great however it is getting cold where I live and my scalp is starting to get dry again. Like dandruff is still it's it always has been there, but it hasn't been that bad until recently um, So it's definitely something with the cold weather right now. That's making it a lot worse So I have been researching up on shampoo bars thanks to someone who commented on my old no poo method updates to telling me to try them out So I've decided to try them out since I'm going on a backpacking trip with my best friend in two weeks now So I'll let you guys know where I'm going soon. Well, I wanted to get something that was efficient for me to travel with since carrying around a jar of honey isn't really ideal for me so shampoo bars sounded like the best method so I just got my package today in the mail and this is what it looks like it cost $20 shipping unfortunately because I'm from Canada but if you if you guys are in the States I'm pretty sure the shipping is only like five dollars but I really want to try out their products and I'm not sure if I mentioned the brand yet but the company name is Chagrin Valley Soap and Self so if you guys haven't heard of them go check out the website it's they have a wide range of shampoo bars geared specifically towards certain issues whether you have oily hair dry hair dandruff um, just normal hair even they have a bunch of different shampoo bars for you to try out so I'm going to show you what I ordered this is what the package looks like very nicely packaged they've got some shred of paper in here. Now the first thing on my list is Honey and Oats Dog Shampoo. Now you guys are probably like, what? This is for my dog. Um, I just figured, eh, may as well go natural for my dog too. I'm sure chemicals aren't good for animals either. Now what it says is, finely ground oats, honey, and cornstarch help soothe and heal itchy, irritated, and dry skin. The soothing essential oil blends, or oil blend helps repel fleas and ticks. And it is, the ingredients in there are coconut oil, sunflower oil, organic sustainable palm oil, castor oil, water, rice bran oil, organic aloe, sodium hydroxide, which is used during the saponification process to turn oil into soap. None remains in the finished product. All real soap is made with saponified oils, that's what it says. And then also virgin shea butter, canola oil, oats, honey, essential oils of peppermint, eucalyptus, lemongrass, lavender, tea tree, organic cornstarch, rosemary oil extract. And it's 100% natural soap, guys. Like, this is unreal. Like, you guys heard the, all the ingredients in it. That's all that's in there, which is amazing. All right, so the next ones are for me. I got a sample of the Butter Bar Conditioner Shampoo. These ones aren't sealed, so I'll take them out for you guys. That's what it looks like. It smells just like really fresh. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just like, yeah, it just smells fresh. I got it because it had a lot of really good reviews. So I really wanted to try it out. And the sample bars are, this one's $2.80 and it's a pretty good size. Now the next sample I got is Urban Garden. Um, I believe these ones are geared towards dandruff. Smells like herbs. I would much rather use these than have some like other ingredients in my hair, like egg yolk or something, which is like bleh. But yeah, this smells herby, eucalyptus-y, minty, basil-y. Smells like that kind of. And this one's also geared towards, well, the ones that they recommended for dandruff at least. Smells the same as the other one actually. It's called our Ayurvedic Herb Shampoo Bar. Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain these smells because they're not like regular, they're not like um, smells that you can compare to from Bath and Body Works or anything. It doesn't smell like cake or sugar. I think these ones smell like this just because they're geared towards dandruff. They're for the scalp. They're, they kind of smell a little bit medicinal, but I kind of like it in a weird way. It kind of smells fresh in my head for some reason. I don't know. So I have that. And then I also got the Neem Body and Hair Shampoo Bar with tea tree oil. I got a full size of this one because this one um, was definitely geared towards dandruff. I'll read the ingredients in this one. It's organic coconut oil, organic neem oil, organic sunflower, and castor oils infused with organic botanicals, elderflower, calendula, dandelion leaf, black walnut leaf, 
comfrey, water, organic sustainable palm oil, sodium hydroxide, which is what um, which is used to bind the ingredients together and just turn it into soap, as I read before. Organic jojoba oil, organic canola oil, organic essential oils of lavender, tea tree, thyme, peppermint, organic rosemary, and oil extract. So I'm sure the essential oils are what gives it the smell. So lavender, tea tree, thyme, peppermint, and rosemary is probably what this one smells like, which I smell more paper right now. And then the next one I got is, I actually got this because it was on sale for five dollars it's called the camel chamomile and citrus shampoo bar it cleans oily hair without drying chamomile flowers and citrus essential oils bring out the highlights in blonde hair and add sheen to dark hair ingredients in this one is pretty much the same as the other ones except the essential oils are grapefruit bergamot lit seed lime lemon sweet orange organic rosemary oil extract i kind of want to open this one so i can smell it because this one is much different than the other ones that I ordered since it's not geared towards dandruff. And I actually bought this for my boyfriend because I'm trying to get him to try different methods. Maybe he would like it and if not then whatever. But um, I figured he should try it as well. Let's see here. Ooh. Oh my god, you sneeze. Ooh. Excuse me. Ooh, this one smells good. Like this one smells like citrus. It smells like grapefruit. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm jealous. I might have to cut half of this bar and give the other half to John. I'm not gonna give him this whole thing. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That smells good. So I think the ones that I got, which are geared more towards my issue, which is dandruff, um, they smell more medicinal, herbally, um, like rosemary, thyme, and all those things. And which I don't mind, but if you guys do, then maybe that's not the route for you guys. Like, I really just want to get rid of my dandruff. Honey definitely calmed it down so much more than the baking soda did. Uh, so yeah, and I'm also going on a trip and I don't want to carry a jar of honey around, which doesn't make sense. So I figured bringing one of these like sample bars or bringing this whole entire bar would be a lot more efficient and saves more space in my backpack than um, adding more weight to it. One last thing that I ordered from this company is, it's the Chagrin Valley Mint Mist Coconut Silk Deodorant. Now you guys are probably like, what? Smells like toothpaste, sort of. Smells more like mint, like a natural toothpaste, I guess you could say. But um, I ordered this because I've never actually told you guys this um, through video, which I might make a video later on to actually announce it, I guess. But I actually stopped using deodorant as well. I think I stopped maybe four months into my no poo method because I realized that natural methods are pretty awesome. And I've had really bad body odor growing up and I was well aware of it. And I bought um, deodorant growing up using antiperspirants and deodorant and they just didn't, like they would work for the first hour, but I would start to sweat. And then the smell of the deodorant mixed with my body odor made this really weird smell and then I would be able to smell that through whatever is whatever was wafting up from my armpit and then I would get even more self-conscious and then when I get more self-conscious about it I sweat more and I just it's just a really bad mixture of things so I the second I smell myself sweat I sweat more stressing that other people are gonna smell it so yeah deodorant just never really worked for me in general and I always had to switch it up and then within like a week or something my body would just find a way to just break the barrier and yeah. So I did some research for natural methods and I want the simplest method possible as like my notebook method, I like to keep it as simple as possible. And there was somewhere that said if you use lemons and it worked amazing. Like I don't even know, like that is my method. I've been using lemons since, I don't know, I think I've been deodorant free for about like six months, um, which might sound crazy, but I've been using lemons and that is my secret method. It doesn't stop you from sweating, but it does kill the bacteria from your armpit. Um, it does kill the bacteria in your pits and you smell less. And if you sweat, you sweat, but you're not gonna smell. At least for me, I didn't smell. And I've been on that method ever since and it's been working great. Again, because I'm going on a trip in two weeks backpacking, I don't want to be searching for lemons um, and trying to like make it inconvenient for my friend and I to travel around the country being like, oh, I need to find lemons because I stink. So I figured I would just do her a favor 
and buy a deodorant, but I bought a natural deodorant. Now the ingredients for this is really simple. It's organic virgin coconut oil, jojoba oil, organic cornstarch, baking soda, organic beeswax, essential oils with peppermint, rosemary, eucalyptus, spearmint, lime, and tea tree, and that is all. So you could probably just make these, but I, I'm not gonna do that. So I figured I'm just gonna buy the deodorant and just use this on my trip instead of using lemons, which I probably will still use lemons if we run into like a market or something, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, so I'm not going to rely on that. Now, I can't really make a review on this right now since I haven't used it yet, but I will use this one of these in my next wash and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, these are supposed to lather pretty well even though they are natural, but I will let you guys know how it goes. If you guys are interested, comment down below. I'll let you guys know. I probably still will be using Honey Method here and there, but I kind of want to experiment which soap bar works for me before I go on my trip, which is in two weeks, so I'll let you guys know hopefully before then. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Check out their website and check out their products. Uh, you guys can wait for a review if you'd like, but they have all their stuff is natural. They have um, conditioners, shampoos, and deodorant. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Um, subscribe to my channel if you are waiting for a review on these products. And check out my other videos on my no poo method if you're interested. And I will see you guys in my next one. And follow me on Instagram, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.